All right, welcome back to the YouTube channel, guys. Today we're going to be diagnosing why this tail light doesn't work. As you can see, the bevel on it here is uh, or the trim piece is broke off. It's missing a screw here, so I am estimating or guessing that the post for this broke off. That's why it's missing up here. Blah blah blah. So let's go ahead and get this thing pulled off. gonna pop these screws out real quick should come right off all right so the the lens as you can see the lens itself looks like it's in still in uh, pretty good condition so we'll set that off to the side and that is the reason for the non-working tail light so I guess what we need to do next though is to ensure that uh, we're actually getting the right voltage to this socket here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the multimeter out and then I'm gonna start the sled up and I'm gonna go ahead and test and see if we're getting the right voltage coming out of this socket. All right, so we got our multimeter. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on, set it to voltage. So it seems like this socket is functioning functioning like it's supposed to. So the next step is going to be pulling this shroud here off of this, this assembly. And I have a couple extras. One actually has a broken lens on it. So we're going to go ahead and examine this one, see if it's up to par. And if the... the Bezel is up to par, then we'll just go ahead and pop this lens off, swap them out, and then put the old lens from the sled back on here. And we should be in good shape. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get a 10 millimeter and pop these off. A lot of times you could just get them loose and then uh, push this in and they'll thumb right off. And on this one side you're going to have a wire retainer like this and a washer. Next step, you're going to want to loosen these two top, these two front screws as well as the two back because we're going to need to slide the gas tank off. All right, next you're going to need to remove the two fuel tank retaining nuts and washers. They may have these thread protectors on top. Okay, so we got one, one here and then another one down in here. Okay, at this point you should be able to lift up on the rear of the tank. Slide the tank backwards. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm just going to go ahead and put a piece of wood under here to prop this up. That'll allow me access to 
the wiring harness under there. Just the three prong plug comes right out. I just go ahead and shove the wire up through the hole in the bottom of the tank here or the seat frame. The assembly comes right out. All right, now while you have the seat up and off the way it is, may as well go ahead and check the wire harness. Make sure there's no rub throughs on any of the wires. Everything looks all right. The only, the only thing I can see that's really wrong here is this tunnel piece right here. Looks like a stud went through the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a flat piece of metal and then bang that back into shape. Just gonna go ahead and put this underneath, give it a few good smacks. All right, let's go ahead and pull this wire out, take a look. That thing seems to be in good condition. I don't see any rub throughs. Let's get a light up in here just to make sure. Well, everything looks good here. All right, so another thing I did is I went ahead and checked down in there. You can't really see it very well. Yeah, see that, that yellow wire right there? That is the brake harness. So I just kind of poked through and just to make sure everything's free. I can see better than you can in the video, um, but it's pretty clean. It doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it. So I think we're good as far as that goes. All right, so let's go ahead and pull apart this used one and see what we're working with. Same thing, it's just got the few screws holding it on. Yeah, it looks like there's just a little bit of grease in there. That's not too bad, actually. This one don't look very good. We'll go ahead and just use the old ones. They look pretty good. So what I like to do is go ahead and use these little little uh, cylindrical wire wheels. Cleans these up pretty good. Just gets all the crud, the crud off of them. And then if I can get them in there, I'll do the same thing on the female end. And then if you can't get anything in there like this, then just go ahead and take a piece of, a piece of sandpaper. I like to cut myself out a thin little piece. And just go ahead and roll it up. You can even put like a toothpick or a nail on the inside. Something along the lines of this. Give it a little bit more rigidity. And then just stick it on the inside there. And you want to roll it with the twist. And then you can just kind of... Then you can also... Just to make sure that these female ports are tight, you can just kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. I actually have a third assembly here. Almost seems like it's got a better sealing surface as well. Or like a gasket. This one might just be rolled in here, who knows. Yeah, this one don't seem like it's in very good condition, so. We'll set that off to the side. We'll pop this one out. Not like it really even matters which one, you know what? Should be good there. Just clean the major junk off of it. Now the separated side does go down at the bottom for drainage if there is any condensation or anything. I believe is how that works. Alright, so we'll go ahead and feed this back through.
Go ahead and get your little rubber or your uh, styrofoam grommet. Tuck that up in there. Seems like the adhesive wore off, so we're just going to put a few dabs of super glue. All right, while we have this out, I'm going to go ahead and hit this with some cleaner. So that way, when I go to clean the rest of the seat, I won't have to worry about it. All right, I'm going to give this stuff a try here. See what happens. It says not to let it dry on the surface. Holy mackerel. So before it dries, I'm throw some simple green on there, clean that stuff off. really hard to see for some reason on the camera but dude this stuff you can see it there it's a lot more dramatic in person though I did a good job all right so that's that let's go ahead and all the way in here all right so this is what I was telling you guys before about this stuff bulb grease it says dielectric grease right on it you do not want to coat the contacts this is an insulating grease it's not a conductive grease so the best way to use this so just put a little tiny bit on your finger and then you're gonna wipe it right on this edge here. You don't even have to do that much. Just all along this little base here. And what it does is it just seals out water. And like I said, it's non-conductive, so you don't wanna put this on your contacts on the contact surfaces. All right, all right, so see how it's all on the base there? Just want a tiny thin layer. I'm gonna take our other harness here under the seat. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these. You can just smear it all around that little base there. You don't have to do this. I mean, it's up to you guys, but why not? You're in here. Just take the five minutes and do it. That way it's protected. All right, so now that we got our, our wire harness connected back up, we got our damaged sharp portion of the tunnel all banged back in. Now we're going to go ahead and... the seat back down don't forget to push it forward I'm gonna go ahead and make sure your wire harness is in the slots provided in the seat base there and we're gonna go ahead and attach the seat completely with these two fender washers and lock nuts Last step here is to go ahead and tuck the wires back in. You're going to want two more fender washers and your wire retaining clip. Let's go ahead and put the opposite side on first. That way it'll hold the light assembly on 
while you try and get that clip on there. So it's going to go washer, wire clip, and nut. You don't want to crank these real hard because this is all plastic. Just go until you can feel it start to snug up. And take your your harness and clip that up out of the way. There was one of these little little guys here, so I'm gonna put that back on as well. How about that? Found number two. Bonus. All right, so we're just gonna put the console back on here. Making sure that all your wires are properly tucked out of the way. You don't want any rub throughs. Zip ties are your best friend. You don't want to forget your console centerpiece. <laughs> as pretty or as ugly as it is. All right, so let's go ahead and fire the sled up and see if we have operational tail light and brake light. guys that's it once again another project done so thanks a lot for following along i hope you guys found the video useful if there's anything that you guys have questions about please let me know i'll be more than happy to help you find an answer for them if i don't have one so if you guys aren't subscribed and you like this kind of content please hit the subscribe button also hit the alert bell so you're notified of future updates of videos that i got going up on my channel try by the channel say hello ask a question offer some friendly advice whatever you want um, also, if you guys know anybody else that likes this kind of content, please share the video on social networking with family and friends. So. Alright guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video, so come on back. Take care and God bless.